Hello! Today I'd like us to begin with a poem, which is Crack an egg, stir the butter, break the yolk, make it flutter, stoke the heat, hear it sizzle, shake the salt, just a drizzle, flip it over, just like that, press it down, squeeze it flat, pop the toast, Spread jam thin, say the word, breakfast thin. Uh, I hope that you have already had breakfast and we can focus uh, on consonants, which um, have been um, highlighted in green in this poem. So, uh, what is a consonant? Mm, definitely, it is a speech sound um, that... Um, while produced, the air stream meets um, an obstruction, a block, uh, before flowing out through the mouth. Uh, it can be like this. You have the impression that an explosion is happening uh, while pro uh, pronouncing the sound B before the air stream is released, right? It can be gradually released, like in the case of F. v. Um, the important thing is to remember that there is always a block. Um, today um, we are going to see also that voicing is a key feature uh, when it comes to consonants. Um, I'd like us to have a look at this picture. Um, here we have uh, some of the organs involved in speech production and uh, what we are interested particularly today is this part with the larynx and the vocal cords, vocal folds are. Um, uh, while determining whether consonant is voiced or voiceless, um, we have to pay attention to the vocal folds, because whenever the vocal folds are vibrating, the consonant sound is voiced, whereas if the vocal folds are not vibrating, then it's a voiceless sound. Um, if we try to pronounce the consonants um, we have here um, and place our fingers here, we might notice that while producing, for example, the sound uh, the vocal folds are not vibrating, whereas while producing the sound g, they are vibrating. The same happens with th or th. Uh, another way of um, seeing whether it's a voiced or voiceless sound is just to put your hands on your ears and produce, for example, the sound s and then the sound z. Mm, you are bound to notice that while producing a voiced sound, you might hear a buzz, whereas um, whenever the sound is voiceless, there is no buzz. Um, I have uh, also prepared a table where you can um, see the voiceless consonants in English and the voiced ones. So we have p as in pen, f, fan, fang, s, sun, sh, shark, t, tool, Cat, ch, cheese, hope, b as in bond, v as in vogue, v as in that, z as in zoo, j as in leisure, d as in day, g as in good, g as in june, m as in man, n as in nap, n as in king, l as in lol, r as in red, Y as in yacht, U as in wed. So, these are the voiceless and voiced consonants uh, in English. Uh, next time we are going to deal with the place of articulation of consonants. Why is it important? It will help you um, in understanding how to pronounce let's say, English uh, specific sounds. Um, as it turns out, uh, uh, th 
very often are quite problematic. And just as usual, I'd like to finish with a poem, which is I once knew a male uh, whose name was Dale. He drank a lot of ale, but uh, went very pale. He was rushed away, but was forced to stay. He went home in a week, but was still a bit of a freak. Uh, so, have breakfast regularly and drink uh, less ale. See you!